everybody uh, two months ago I did this video which you see playing in the background of uh, me flying in an F-18 Hornet in DCS world and I'm using the F-4 external view plus a few other little hotkeys to create this this uh, camera view effect so uh, I had two comments on that video and one asked how do you get rid of the pilot and if you want to put your own live footage in over top of that and the other question was what hotkey <laughs> so I felt um, that I you know needed to make a little bit of a follow-up to just explain how I did this uh, camera work in DCS so that's what follows now all right the first thing we need to do to um, become proficient with these external views and to do the GoPro style of cockpit camera is look at the key bindings so let's let's take a look at that hit adjust controls and then go to search and the first thing I would search for is the word camera and there's a bunch of stuff here but the ones you're interested in let me make this a little wider starts here so the move a uh, cockpit camera move back center down forward left right up those are the ones that this group are the ones that uh, you can use quite a bit after you've hit the F4 F4 key and you'll see this in a moment so but the one I use primarily is the forward and back ones so forward is right control right shift num star and num is numpad and this is why you really need a full-size keyboard uh, if you got to hit a function key if you got to hit right control and right shift and a function key and then <laughs> the star on the numpad that could get a little bit uh, um, difficult uh, with a full-size keyboard it's just three key presses right control right shift I do that with my left hand and then my right hand I press the either, either the numpad star or the uh, the numpad forward slash to move back backwards and forwards and again don't try and memorize this stuff now you're gonna see it in a moment the other key you want to look for uh, key bind is uh, zoom then we get rid of the word search there zoom so zoom in and zoom out now these don't work very well on my machine for some reason I th it, it, they move very quickly when I'm in an external view they jump quite a distance so um, I might want to start experimenting with this zoom in slow and zoom out slow yeah just using the num star and the num forward slash so I'll have to try that. You'll see in the video, I, I, I'm not aware of this because I, I shot the video of the uh, how to use the external views before I did these key binds. So uh, that's uh, educational. So again, um, zoom in, zoom out. Um, just the, 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 the regular ones here are very fast. So try the zoom in slow and the zoom out slow. And they're easier too because they're just simply a single key press. Numpad star or numpad forward slash. And the last keys that you uh, are really gonna want to know and these this is the great this is the these are the keys that really make the difference between it looking like a GoPro and and some just a simple external shot and that is the zoom external in and the zoom external out this is what changes your field of view to give that fisheye lens look so zoom external out will give you that fisheye lens look the right control plus numpad forward slash and the zoom external in will then tighten the field of view and that's right control plus numpad star okay so those are the keys let's get uh, in the plane and go to the F4 external view and here I am using the F4 view and trying to get this all lined up here uh, let's go back here and put on our autopilot so barometric altitude lock that in go back to F4 come in here like so look around fuck up the picture and look for zoom in right shift numpad star so zoom in right shift numpad start now I'm blind as a bat so this is really difficult so I'm gonna oh and look at that so oh look how much 
That is just moving a lot. I don't remember it being such a douche. Okay, something's different. That that is going quite that much. Hmm. You know, back to F1, F4. Okay, let's with right control, right shift, numpad. Right control, right shift, numpad star. See, now that's gentler. All right, and we want to get about here. Looks about good. Let's get rid of the tab there, and now so right control numpad forward slash right control numpad forward slash there we go see now we're getting that that groovy view, view. now let's go forward a bit and that was and I, have, I can't remember this stuff right control right shift star there oh so it's the view that's the money shot now I can use track IR turn my head around and I can kind of look around the cockpit. See, and then I can use my mouse. I'm using my mouse to go up and down. Nice. Ah, uh, very heroic, wouldn't you say? Now I can fly the plane by turning. Yeah, now that now I'm flying the plane, but I'm <laughs> literally seeing the same view you are. So I kind of gotta gotta use the old noggin to interpolate what I'm supposed to be doing. So to level out, I got to turn. Ooh, obviously, I'm climbing there. So let's give it some throttle. So this is how you do this. You you have to, you know, move your mouse like I'm doing now, reposition the camera. I'm moving forward with my head and track IR is moving me along the axis that way so it's a bunch of things together that create the effect so let's do a little turn see the pilot looking forward now I'm not that's not my head moving like that the way the pilot's head is moving that's not um, you know analogous to what my head is doing with track IR that is the random head motions programmed into the software that the software has programmed to give the pilot a lifelike appearance so it probably has something to do with the you know that's not just randomly throwing those in there it wouldn't make any sense it knows the attitude of the plane and it's doing that appropriately so he's looking to the left because I'm making a left turn again that's not me doing that so let's let's try not to crash see now I'm gonna turn to the right let's see if and I'm gonna move back in my moving my head back so track IR is doing the move there. Well, I'm going to do it, move my head back again. He's still looking to the right, I think. Or maybe he hasn't looked to the left. Now, let me position the camera. This is me and the mouse and the little head movement there. Now he's looking to the right, into the right hand turn. Yeah. All right, you get the idea. Now, somebody asked me, uh, how can you get rid of the pilot? in this view so that you can green screen yourself into the footage. Uh, the answer to that is uh, was provided by the guys at Sting TV in the comments to one of their movie videos and that the way you do that is very difficult. Removing the pilot is really difficult that he had to create two mods in order to remove the pilot so that they could green screen their live footage of themselves uh, where the pilot is sitting right now. So um, if you want to, if you need to know how to get the pilot out of the view, I'm just turning my head around here, uh, you, you probably have to contact the guys at Sting TV and you can do that uh, via their YouTube channel or their website. Uh, I'll leave that to you to look up. I'll try and provide some links in the description below. Anyways, quick and dirty, that's... Um, how I do my footage when I'm recording in cockpit cam reviews. I'll also uh, 
include the, the, the cheat sheet for the key commands. But as you can see, it's, it's more than just the key commands. It's using track IR and moving your head, using your mouse, and, uh, and, and moving your whole body. You know, as I'm doing here, I can move my whole body away from my computer, and track IR knows that, and so I'm further out. And then if I move up, um, I can get that view. So there's a lot going on here. Okay, thanks for watching.